Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I will be reviewing these duck nail tips from Novo Ovo and they are in the size short and they are full cover and I did go ahead and purchase these off of Amazon. This video is not sponsored and upon opening the package, as you can see, it does come with this little pamphlet from the brand Novo Ovo, which is very nice and on the back of it, it just shows other products that they also sell, which can be found on their Amazon store storefront as well as their website they have toenails other full cover tips and half cover tips and I was so excited to try these nails I've been wanting to do some more duck nails but I just hate the you know the process of making the duck nails short and I had seen brezzy nails use these and so I went ahead and ordered some for myself and as you can see they fit around the cuticle area pretty good on my thumbs but I do end up having to you know shape up the cuticle areas for my other fingers because my cuticle areas are rounded and these are more square shaped but that's not a big deal I have to do that with all my nail tips anyways I am also going to be reviewing this hard gel from Savvyland. I did also purchase this with my duck nail tips from Amazon. And everything that I use in today's video, I'll be sure to leave it linked in the description box below. But I do just want to go ahead and try this hard gel on my nails. I want to go ahead and give them some extra strength. And the other hard gel that I have from Savvyland, it's pretty good, but it does still make like the nails still feel soft. And this hard gel says it's super hard gel so i'm hoping this makes it to where it's just completely unbendable that is my goal and i really didn't want to buy the ibd hard gel because that is more expensive this is a huge jar and it's for less than the price of that one little bottle from ibd so i'm anxious to try it and as you can see it was kind of hard to uh, open the jar you'll see here in a little bit so I do go ahead and open that off camera but it, it was really thick it is a really thick consistency but it is super sticky I don't know if all hard gel is like that I've only used Savvy Land hard gel so let me know down in the comments if all hard gel is supposed to be that sticky it was really annoying but I ended up just cleaning off the nails with a cotton ball and 91% alcohol because I try using paper towel it doesn't work it leaves stickiness everywhere and I don't have any lint free wipes so I just go ahead and use cotton balls and it worked out really good but I recommend using 91% alcohol for this stuff because the stickiness was just insane so please let me know in the comments if all hard gel is supposed to be that sticky I don't work with it very often I just work with gel polish and base coat and you know the top coat and so just let me know please if you have any suggestions or tips and just a disclaimer I am self-taught so I really can't explain how to use hard gel I just kind of just brush it on like any gel polish and if you have any tips and tricks about how to apply it go ahead and feel free to let me know please down in the comments so I did go ahead and size out the nails to fit my nails and like I said I did go ahead and shape out the cuticle areas to fit my nails and I am just going to go ahead and apply a nice thin layer over all the nail tips. I did go ahead and prime and base coat them off camera and I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this process and I'll come back here in a bit.
Okay, so here's how they look after they've been cured. I did go ahead and cure them for 120 seconds just to make sure that they fully cured in the lamp. And I am going to go ahead and wipe them off with the cotton ball and some 91% alcohol. This works best for me. I tried using paper towels, but it just wasn't working very well. And I don't have any lint-free wipes. So I am just going to go ahead and clean those off with 91% alcohol because this stuff was super sticky. And I'll go ahead and come back here in a bit. And here's how they look after they've been filed shaped and buffed and I did go ahead and crispen up the the free edge a little bit with my nail drill and as you can see look at how strong they are like I'm really 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 trying to bend them and they're really not bending at all at the free edge the cuticle area I did go ahead and make it thin so that it's flexible to fit the nail but the tip area oh I love this hard gel it works so well and I don't know if it's because these nails are short or how it's going to work on longer nails but I am going to definitely start adding this hard gel to all my press on nails to make them even more durable so now I am gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of base coat cuz I'm gonna go ahead and start the design and I am gonna go ahead and for my base color I'm gonna use this really pretty pink color from born pretty and I'll go ahead and cure the base coat first for 60 seconds then I'm gonna come back here in a bit with that born pretty color and I'll let you watch this process And here's how the nails look after I applied two layers of that uh, base color and I just absolutely love this color I think it looks like an acrylic dupe if you ask me and I'm always in you know the market for good base colors so if you have any suggestions because I just use gel polish I don't use acrylic at all if you do have any suggestions you know or tips please go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below and for the French tips this is how I make my French tips it just helps me out so much I really struggle when it comes to freehanding French tip nails I don't know why but this is what I do I just color the base color first and then I cure that and then I go ahead and take my 20 mm liner brush and I'll do the outline the smile line first and then after that I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the French tip area 
with whatever color I choose and then I'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds and the nail color the nail colors that I'm actually using in today's video I only had to do one coat because they're so pigmented and they are from beetles and from nail reserve so like I said I'll be sure to leave everything linked in the description box below and I'll go ahead and let you watch this process and I'll be back again here in a bit Okay, so here are all the colors on my nail palette that I'm going to use for today's nail set and I am going to go ahead and repeat the same process with my 20mm liner brush and just go ahead and create some French tips on all the nails except for the ring finger. I am going to show you how to make kind of like an airbrush effect with just a makeup sponge just in case you don't have an airbrush machine. It's really easy and simple so I'll go ahead and let you watch me paint these French tips and I'll come back here in a bit. I do after apply all the colors cure for 60 seconds. Okay, for the airbrush effect, you want to take a makeup sponge and go ahead and dab it into the gel polish and you want to start dabbing it in the center of wherever you want it on the nail. I'm going to put it in the middle of the nail and you're going to go ahead and just dab it from the middle, work your way around it and you're just gonna go ahead and just trust the process. You're gonna do this about three or four times. You, you are gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds in between each coat. So just go ahead and just do it until you're happy with the pigmentation that you want. I do go ahead and do it for about four times off camera. So as you can see, this is how it looks after four layers. It is repetitive, but it is, you know, really easy to do if you don't have an airbrush machine. So now getting started with the design, you can do whatever you want on these nails. That's what makes this type of design so fun. You can just paint anything that your heart desires. I absolutely love cows, so I have to include a cow print. And as for the rest of the nails, 
channels you know it is pretty self-explanatory so i will go ahead and let let you watch the process and i will come back here in a bit Unfortunately, I was not recording when I made the cross on the pinky nail, but all I did was make, you know, like a plus sign and then pretty much just did little triangles on each end of the cross. And then I went ahead and did two layers of that and I cured for 60 seconds in between. Now I'm going to go ahead and use these charms on the nails and you can just put the charms anywhere you'd like. That's what's so great also about this nail design that it does not have to be perfect. You can put charms arms rhinestones any nail art as you please and it's always gonna look cute and for some reason this type of nail design just I love it on duck nails and I just I'm so excited I finally got some short ones I'm gonna be doing more nail designs with these short duck tips so I'll go ahead and let you finish watching and I hope you enjoy
now that I've applied all my nail charms, I am going to go ahead and take my top coat. And I do recommend you use a thicker top coat just to make sure that you go over all the charms to make sure that your hair don't get snagged in between. And also that you go ahead and just secure them in because they will tarnish with, you know, when you shower or you're washing dishes. So you want to go ahead and use a really thick top coat and you'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. 